Today we ask the age old question. Will it pasta? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We have this show. This show. This. And sometimes on this show, we like to find out if things will. And today we are aiming our will it sights directly at the wonderful world of pasta. It's time for Will It Pasta? Okay, first up we have Pop Ardelli. This is Pop Ardelli pasta made from Pop Tarts. Now, yes. what we have done, and we've done this on most of these, is we have infused whatever the ingredient is into pasta. So we really are finding out if something will pasta. This is a legitimate noodle, man. It is a legitimate noodle with egg and flour. Right. And then you have cinnamon pop tarts infused into yours, mm -hmm. and I have strawberry pop tarts infused into mine. And there's a little bit of white frosting and some sprinkles like you'd have on a strawberry pop tart on mine. And you have some cinnamon, cinnamon butter. butter sauce. <laughs> so we know that uh, Pop-Tarts will noodle, but will it pasta is really, is it a dish worthy of Boy, got, us eating? Got a big honking noodle here. This looks like an unrolled cinnamon roll, which is delightful. Dink it. Oh, I just got contaminated with your cinnamon. It's okay. You dropped a little. That's real nice. That's real nice. It is really nice. That's the realest uh, and nicest <laughs> I never thought that I would want my pop tart taste to be so not crispy. But floppy's good for it's, pop tarts. It's kind of like a pop floppy, floppy tart. It's like a pop tart that you put in the microwave and forgot about, Oop. and then dipped into some water, but in a good way. That's really good. I think you can get your kids to eat pasta. Of course, that's not a problem. <laughs> but if you have a problem with your kids eating pasta, not anymore. Now there's a solution. Will it pasta? Yes. yes. Great nice. work noodleizing that. Next up we have Dorito Chini. Uh, that's right, it's nacho cheese Doritos oh, made into noodles and then spicy verde Doritos. Verde? Verde, with a green sauce in order to make, uh, well, the green sauce on top of the orange noodles. And um, then we're going to crumble some, some cool ranch. Did you wash? Boil for safety? Uh, yeah, obviously. You boiled your hand? <laughs> No. I asked him if he washed his hands. <laughs> I asked him if he boiled it for safety. Sorry. Mm. Yes, no. So that's some nice cool ranch on top. That's my favorite flavor. It looks like a pile of cat vomit on top of uh, a Dorito noodle. But I'm still hopeful. The Dorito noodles really turned out. They turned out. This is like the one that's been, oh, you gonna dink it first? It smells oh, you so smell much it? like Dor Doritos. Mm. It's very tortilla-y smelling. Yeah, it's gotten the corn, the corn smell that I have grown to love. Yeah. Oh man. Oh? What kind of look is that, man? This is like an improvement on pasta. This is not just does it pasta, it makes pasta better. That, we're gonna have to change the name of this whole series. I might. Does it make it better? The verde is actually very good. The noodles are great. <clears throat> I mean, I had high hopes for the noodles being very nacho cheesy, and I think it's a bit dil diluted. But the sauce is so good. And the crunch of the Cool Ranch, the Cool Ranch crunch, I live for that. <laughs> he lives for the crunch of Cool Ranch. <laughs> not a sponsor. Yeah. That's our loss. Hold on, so you're not convinced by this? No, it is very good. Without the verde sauce, I'd say it'd be mediocre. But that really puts it over the top, then you shave it with the ranch, and um... Shave it? You know, you crunch it. Yeah, crunch it. I, I'm, I'm not as enthusiastic as you are, that's I pretty obvious. I can tell. But at the same, and he's personally offended by that. Um, as well as the Doritos executives that we have no relationship with. But does it make it better? Yes! yes. I just dropped some in my, my mug, but I like it, so I don't care. Okay, all right, mm. this is printioli. This is ravioli made out of actual printer paper, pulp, filled with edible printer ink. But all printer ink is not edible, only the edible printer ink And as you can edible. see, uh, looks like you've got the magenta cartridge and I've got the uh, cyan cartridge, and both of these are, <laughs> are put over a bed of uh, compromising documents that we had to shred, some of my release tax returns. So this is real paper, we're not eating that. Well, there is some on there, so I guess I will eat it. <laughs> yeah, oh it. man, I can't even get my fork into the ravioli noodle. You it's, don't even really need a fork for it's it. It's like a dried cadaver skin. 
I'm just going to put a little paper on top. I got some on the edge there. You're going to need it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Papery. Uh huh. Chewy. Ah. Blue. What you got? Oh. Um. Ah, it looks like guts. Ah. There's not anything good about this. Well, I'm really searching too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fiber. Oh, oh. Fiber, man. We just had one of the most beautiful pasta creations we've ever had. And you crapped all over the Doritos pasta. Oh, and it's not as strong as I thought it would be. <laughs> and now we're eating something that shouldn't be fed to someone that you're trying to punish. You're trying to find the good side? I'm trying to find the good side. It's it's got fiber. This is gonna go this is gonna push everything through like a bulldozer. Mine's not getting in the system, man. You're not swallowing that? I got a pretty good idea. I'm just gonna cheek it for a while and I'm gonna spit it. Really? I mean, I like bland tasting things. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all in with this. I like the colors. I can't get it down, man. Oh, oh, God. oh gosh. Look what it did in my teeth. Hold on, you got it down? I got half of it now. Uh, okay. I don't know how long that's going to stick around. Hmm. I should wash out. But will it pasta? No. Oh, oh that's, this is uh, pretty. That's still in my, that's still in my teeth. Um, oh gosh. What about some vermicelli? What about it? Well, no, what about some vermicelli? We've taken muskrat stewed meat <laughs> and we have made noodles out of muskrat stewed meat. It looks like an earthworm. Now, we got this meat from our meat man. Uh, our shady meat our, man. Uh, our shady, unnameable meat man. But I'll tell you, brother can come up with some meat. You just point at somewhere on the evolutionary tree, and he's like, mm, "Got it, I got you, I got you." It doesn't even have to be a current animal; it could be an extinct one. All and right, he and we'll get it. And then we um, we created a pesto um, pest that muskrats are uh, with the food that muskrats eat: some rodent food crushed up with sunflower seeds and olive oil to make the pesto, and then. Uh, they also eat snails, as it turns out. I was trying to figure out what that was. It looks like a mushroom. And so do we. That is not a mushroom. That is a snail. Okay. <clears throat> it's not appetizing. Can I go back to the Doritos? Okay, so I've got a nice heaping helping of muskrat pasta and a snail. Muskrat pasta. We muskrat ourselves a question right now. Why are we doing this? Thank you. A little gamey. It's a greasy animal. <laughs> Just eating a bottom feeder, you know? Bottom of a what? Hole? Mm. Oh, you just gagged, huh? It still has a pasta ness to it, which is a bit of a rescue for me. What I don't, is a I don't, musk rat? I don't love it. And the, what is the musk part? I think a musk, it's like a rat that's covered in musk, which is like a was, secretion that comes from a gland near the penis of a deer. It goes up to <laughs> deer penises and, and asks permission? What, I don't know, how does it work? Or does no, that, it make its own musk? It, ha, it makes its own musk, I think. It's like a gland that makes it smell like how cologne. How do you know about deers? That's where most musk comes from. I thought, I thought musk was like a cologne. Exactly. My dad had some musk. He's like, boy, don't touch it. He got it. And there's from deer? Yeah, it's from that part of the deer. That's why my mom didn't like it. Are you gonna be able to get this down? Yeah. Oh, really? Since we started talking about deers, it, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it came back up. Link, yeah. Link is now comforting himself <laughs> by hugging himself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that wasn't very pleasant. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless you were in a real bad way. Vermicelli. Will it pasta? No. No. Ah! Oh! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some balgetti. Uh -uh. Yes, when I say ball, what I mean is testicles. And specifically from the duck. We've got some Bolognese sauce, which is sauce made from duck balls. We've got the pasta made from duck balls. And just in case it wasn't clear enough, on top we've got duck balls. So duck balls three ways is what I call this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Duck balls all day, man. Let me just say, ducks have bigger balls than I would have thought. <laughs> Look how Why'd big? you pick the biggest one? Look how big that one is. That was the size of an eyeball. A, like a giant, giant's eyeball. I thought you were gonna say that one's the size of a human. Yeah, it is the size of a human testicle. Speak for yourself. Oh. 
Uh, okay, so what uh, are we gonna do? Uh, I'm just thinking of it like a kidney bean, and I like beans. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I love beans. <laughs> I sadly don't. Okay, so we're gonna get a. You're gonna get a representation of all three forms. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is so difficult. Oh, it's so tough. Oh, you got a. You got a big one, bro. Oh, you picked the little ball. I wouldn't get that what? biggest one. No, that's the one I got. That's the one you got. <laughs> that's the one. I, this is the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> you have more, more. Two for one special on Rhett's fork. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we dunk it, and now let's suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bite the ball? Oh yeah. <laughs> I felt like I felt it. Personally, when I bit it, <laughs> I personally offended myself. It's a bit mushy. A man should not eat testicles. But women? No, no one should. It just feels like an attack on myself. Oh, the, the taste of it is rather horrible. Why do, why do ducks need such big balls? <laughs> they do have a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on Discovery Channel. They got a corkscrew. The oh, you seen that? Uh, the uh, the taste of the inside of it. You gotta it, have something to power that corkscrew. You know what I'm saying? That's the motor. You gotta have two big motors for that corkscrew. <laughs> it's not going down, man. It's not. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Don't! Mm. Man, I went too big. The ball was too big. I went too big. My eyes were bigger than my balls. Oh man, come on! Why you gotta leave me like I'm that? I'm sorry, man. Now, yeah, listen. Only one of us has to. Only one of us has to make it. <laughs> it's like we're on a journey, and I died. But if you go on, it's like we both got there. I'm sorry. I just it just hit me. I was really going for it. I really went for a good chew and a move to get some down. Mm. And I was just filled with. Taste of duck balls. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it down right now. You can do it, Link. But now or never, I believe in you. <sighs> Ball for the wall. You. I believe in you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw it all come out, man. Ah, uh, hey, but is it? <laughs> there's more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> half of it, half of it did go down. Oh, all right, good. Uh, you win an award. I didn't make it either. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, man. I failed us. What, what, what are we trying to prove anyway, man? Well, we're not trying to prove anything. We're just trying to ask a very important question. Duck testicles, will, will they pasta? pasta? No. no. They will not. All right, we've answered those questions, so you don't have to. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jacob. Hi, I'm Miss Newman. And we are Open Early College! And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We are selling all of our classic good mythical morning mugs, and when they're gone, they are gone forever, so get yours while the getting is good over at retlink.com store. And while you're over there, we've got discounts on all clothing items through March 15th. Yeah! yeah. Be a part of history on a mug while they're still here and click through the Good Mythical More where the crew is going to sample some of these amazing treats. Six degrees of bacon. This is a new one. This is when you connect bacon to something of our choosing and that thing is a PT Cruiser. In the comments below. Six degrees from bacon to a PT Cruiser. We will pin our favorite comments at the top. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.